Joining us now, the one and only sheriff, David Clark. This is America's sheriff, former sheriff of Milwaukee County. Rumor has it that he is still seriously considering a run for Senate in Wisconsin. And the rhinos are shaking in their boots because they know if he gets if he gets any wins. So then what are they going to do? Right. Then they will lose grip. Somebody else will have to plan their Lincoln Day dinner because that's about all they do. Joining us now, Sheriff Clark. Sheriff, great to have you. Thanks a lot, John, and good morning to your listeners. So, uh, Duke, uh, you know, you had high hopes they get to the Final Four. They were six point favorite over NC State. They got bounced. Uh, where they got they got beat pretty handily by a team that well beat them in the conference, I guess, uh, playoffs. But what's the deal with Duke? Ah, uh, pathetic in a word. You know, that second half, and you could feel it in the first five minutes. You could feel it slipping away. They had a six-point lead going into the half. They didn't play that well in the in the, in the the first half, but still had a six-point lead. And they didn't display the toughness that they needed to, the, the, the toughness that they showed against Houston. And I don't care what anybody says about Houston's star guard, uh, all-American guard going down with an ankle injury. That's all part of the, the mix when you look at it. People get hurt. People fall, get into foul trouble. Mm-hmm. Uh, that you don't plan for. So it, th- this team did not embody that Duke toughness that teams in the past have. It's always been an edge uh, to Duke. They had no real no real floor leader. They, they, they tried to rely on Jeremy Roach, the senior, um, but he never really, you know, took the team and put, him, put the team on his shoulders. Filipowski was no floor leader. You know, playing with, uh, with a lot of freshmen. So... Uh, that was the most disappointing thing. I mean, you know, no team wins every year. You don't expect them to win the title every year, but you expect them, even if they lose or when they lose, to display some grit, if you will, some fight, some heart. This team all year never really <clears throat> did that on a consistent basis. I mean, they had, you know, nine losses, for heaven's sakes, which is a lot. Um for a Duke team. So this current squad that they have, they're going to lose some guys, and, and, and I'm okay with it. You know, Philip Pauski, goodbye. Uh, you know, they got a couple of seniors. But even, you know, some of the, you know, people like uh, Jared McCain is supposed to, predict it, I should say, to, to go to the NBA good goal. Uh, bring some guys in here that display a, a will to win, even if they don't win the title. I don't expect them to win the title every year. But I expect them, you know, you, you want to come out of those games feeling good. And, and you come out of that, I come out of that game just with a empty uh, pit in my stomach and a, and a sour taste in my mouth. I'm done with this current squad. And I'm not real happy either right now with John Shire as the coach. Um, you know, he, he's got a lot of talent. He, he, the last two years he's played with um, one of the top incoming uh, classes of freshmen. And this is the best that they can do. Uh, you, you know, I, I don't know how much longer Duke fans are going to tolerate this sort of stuff out of John Shire and all the excuses, you know, um, that you hear from him and, and from, you know, apologists for him that, well, you know, it's only his second year. Well, when Coach K was in his second, Coach K in his second year at Duke didn't have the talent that, uh, Shire's playing with. Coach K left. He didn't leave the cupboard bare. So, you know, I'm just not one to make excuses for people and not, and I'm not going to make excuses for the teams I support. If I see that there's some things that they should be criticized about, I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I think for the Duke fans out there, it had to be disappointing. I agree with your assessment on the Houston game. Injuries are part of the game. Next, Next man up. You know, it's an easy excuse. Uh, you know, I picked the Cougars, so, you know, that was my excuse on Saturday on the radio as a star player got hurt. I can use that as an excuse, but it's like next man up. They didn't win the game, and Duke beat him. You know, Duke beat him. But I, I thought I watched that NC State game. I didn't pick it. I didn't like the game with this. I think they were six or seven, six and a half or seven. I didn't like or seven and a half. I didn't like the game. But um, I thought when they when they had the lead and they weren't playing well, 
I'm like, okay, you know, I expect a big second half from them, and I, I got the opposite. Yeah. You know, I, I got right. the exact opposite. So uh, not, not an impressive thing. All right, you got – I, I, I want to get to women's basketball in a minute. It's this Caitlin Clark has put women's basketball, like, on the map. That game against LSU, that Iowa won, uh, the rematch, uh, and you had the whole – you know, you had the whole um, um, Kim um, Markey situation, the coach there that I was, you know, bet what dress she's going to wear. She's a very colorful character, Kim Markey. But they put, they put women's basketball on the map. They had the highest viewership ever of any women's college or pro game and uh, the most money bet on a college women's or pro game ever, and they beat it like by 10x <laughs> in Vegas. So, um, and every, you can't help but love Iowa and Caitlin Clark and what she's done and how good she is, and she's so much fun. Um, what was your what was your take on this? Is women's basketball now a thing in college? Is that going to be a thing now? Not yet. Uh, she's gone after this year, and I like Caitlin Clark. I think she's the face of women's college basketball. Uh, she's brought eyes to the set, no doubt about it, in terms of viewership. But now she'll be leaving, and, you know, who comes after her? People are right. tuning in to watch her. It's kind of like with golf. Yeah. People tune in to watch Tiger Woods, you know, when he was uh, playing regularly. And if he wasn't on the leaderboard on the, the final day or didn't make the cut, you saw the viewership go down. So, you know, we'll have to see what happens after this. But, um I like her. I like the way she carries herself. She's got a lot of class. Uh, you know, she doesn't come with a lot of baggage, a lot of side antics going on, and all this nonsense uh, that follows some of these people who are in those positions. I like Kim Mulkey, the coach of um, uh, LSU. She's a good coach. She's won a title at, at Baylor. She won a title at. She was very successful there. She's been successful at LSU. So there's a lot to 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 watch and to look at when you tune in those games, but uh, we'll have to see next year. Will it drop off like golf has dropped off in terms of viewership when Tiger Woods went out? Yeah, that's uh, that, that's I, I didn't think of that, but I think you're right because they, everybody tuned in to watch her, and now she's gone. She's going to the WNBA. Uh, she's gone after and the nobody season. Nobody watches the WNBA. Nobody watches the, the, the uh, WNBA. Let's be so. But like, who's gonna you know who's gonna step up and replace her? I mean, she's just a unique ball player, a unique yeah. um, young young lady, and very very classy. And you know, one thing about Iowa, I'm gonna say, I mean, I, it, when LSU beat them last year, remember that you know they were the LSU players were making fun of them. Remember that at the end, and and uh, then they defended it and this and that. When Iowa won, um, they just shook hands and went in the locker room. I mean that. That that's just class. Yeah. I mean, that, that's they, they shook yeah. hands and went in the locker room, as you're supposed to do, right? Not up there, you know, making gestures and, you know, making mocking the oh. other side the way LSU did after that game. And um, I didn't pick the game because I don't I don't pick uh, women's basketball, so I didn't get involved in it. On Godzilla wins, I don't I just don't get involved in it. But um, you know, I knew they were going to win because they. You know, the the way they acted last year, you know, poking fun at him and doing the gestures and whatnot. And this Iowa wins, and they just shake hands and go to the locker room, the way you're supposed to do, Sheriff. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know those antics that went on last year were unnecessary. you got to win with class. You know, I look at some of the greats. I look at some of the people that I've admired. Uh, they didn't rub your nose in it. Michael Jordan winning those uh, – those titles and, and, and hitting a game winning shot shot. He didn't rub the other team's nose in it. I, I just don't, I don't think it's necessary. And there was a lot of envy displayed, I think on the part of LSU last year, because Caitlin Clark during the tournament, the NCAA tournament was getting all the attention and they were a little envious of that. And that's what I think brought some of that out uh, after that game where they beat Iowa, but it's just, it's, it's it's not the way to do it. You know, if you want to jump up and down after a win like that, yeah, sure, no problem with that. But, you know, to get in the other team's face like that, uh, it's just, I don't know, call me old school, but you, just, you, you don't have to do that. You, well, you, you, know, you, you know what it reminds me of? You look at some of, of the other greats. Yeah, well, class. Uh, well, like Barry Sanders, right? 
So all the touchdowns that Barry Sanders ever scored with the Lions, ever, he'd score the touchdown, he'd get up if he was knocked down at the goal line, and he would hand, hand the ball to the ref. <laughs> That's what he's hand the ball to the ref. No spiking, no dancing. He would hand the ball to, to his final touchdown. When in the era of spiking balls and doing bowling pins and all that, whatever they do, you know, it's fun in the end zone. I have, I have no problem with it. But he would score the touchdown. And he would get up and he would hand the football to the referee, go to the sideline. They'd kick, you know, they'd kick the extra. I mean, that, I mean, I, there is, you know, win with class, do good with class, right? You know, it's like, uh, uh, you know, these letter and, and, and Major League Baseball now with the bat throwing and the bat tossing and carrying the bat up the first baseline. You know, you hit a home run, you hit a home run, drop your bat, run the run the friggin' bases. I mean, it's, look, I know the, the a lot of the younger kids like it, but I'm old school, you know. I mean, and I don't want to get shown up. I pitched, you know, I had people that, you know, won games off me as I was a closer and, you know, I hung a fork ball and they hit it like nine million feet. And, uh, you know, you just walk off the mound. I don't, I don't want somebody flipping their bat and showing me up, right? I mean, I got to go back to the dugout, take a shower, and feel like crap as it is. So why would you do that? But that's, you know, that's the game today, right? All games. Yeah, and it's the extracurriculars. It's trying to get on the, the, the sports center top ten. You know, that's what all that stuff. <laughs> and again, you know, I, I don't, I, I, I'm not necessarily against it uh, per se, but it's just it, you're right. It's not necessary, but you know, this is the way. Uh, too many athletes, I think, now uh, behave today that didn't a long time ago. You know, sportsmanship is out the window now, unfortunately. I understand, like you just said, you know, it's the way the game is today. But it turns but a lot of people up, off. But growing up, growing up, playing ball, sportsmanship was part of what you were taught as a young person. It was part of what you were taught. And now you're not taught that. Now it's just all about you, social media, post something, and you know, sportsmanship. And I get the emotion. I get it. You know, I strike a guy out with, Nothing you know, base that. loaded. I mean, I get fired up. Nothing you know, wrong with that. Yeah. No, you know, there's, there's, except, a, there's a line. There's a and you I, gotta thank know where you. that line is. Yeah, I was trying and to you find You got to know where that line is. You, you can go and toe the line, you can get right up to it. Right. But too many people now, they, they, they cross the line. Yeah. And, <clears throat> you know, you look at some of the, look at the NBA. That's a sport that has more antics than any of them. And right. Look at the viewership; it's plummeted. Yeah, it's plummeted. People just aren't interested in that sort of crap. Yep. And uh, you know the the viewership, the rating show that that's not what we why we tune it in. I right, see all well, you know, the you know the 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 Antics NBA nonsense. The NBA has never recovered from putting Black Lives Matter on the side of the court for an entire COVID season. They never recovered from that. I mean, they lost. Viewers like me, like I haven't, I, I haven't seen an NBA game since I saw that on the court. I don't know when that was. I don't have NBA pass. I don't watch an NBA game. I don't do it on Godzilla wins. I could give a crap. And you look at their viewership has plummeted. Now you look at baseball, and right now it's it's getting bigger again. So uh, speaking of baseball, um, Cubs three and two went at home last night, beating the Rockies, who they should be who they should beat again tonight. Um, I think that I think I told you this Cubs team was going to be better than anybody says. Yeah, yeah, in long season, you know, it's week one and and 162 games, and now 157 if my math is correct. Yep. Got to wait until you get into May or June, and then things start to uh, uh, display themselves. You know, they have. Right, so who's your pick? Having. I'm running running out of time. Who's your pick to win uh, the NCAA tourna- tourna- tournament? UConn.